Order that is then followed by Ragnarok. It's an apocalyptic war between all the Norse gods. Kratos is understandably worried about his son and what it means for him. You get to go on this journey with how Atreus grows into a young adult and how Kratos grows into his next era in his life and really see kind of the parent that he's striving to be, but the person he's striving to be. I find than what we initially envisioned. There's a lot of important story moments that we needed to cover. There are more characters that we follow the threads of. And ultimately, it ends up feeling big and epic because there is a lot. The Ringer. But we also bring them closure and we provide answers to a lot of the questions the first game posed. Just all of the, the new combat that we're doing and the, the new interactions. Um, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that's happening in this title that I, I think. And this story is about how you process that, how you own it, and how you make it a part of yourself and grow from it. I mean... And very satisfying combat, beautiful and rich environments to explore, outstanding character art, a lush and moving soundtrack and soundscape.